Few devices have changed the world quite like the iPhone. What began as a bold idea from Apple turned into a cultural revolution, reshaping how we communicate, work, and live. In this video, we're diving into the fascinating history of the iPhone. From its first reveal in 2007 to becoming one of the most iconic gadgets of all time. And trust me, the story behind its launch will blow your mind. Before we dive in, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell, because in the world of technology, the biggest innovations often start with the smallest devices. When was the first iPhone released? The original iPhone was unveiled by Steve Jobs on January 9, 2007, at the Macworld Conference in San Francisco. This wasn't just another product launch, it was a moment that would reshape technology forever. Jobs famously called it three products in one, a widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communications device. The device officially went on sale on June 29, 2007, exclusively through AT&T in the United States. The launch created unprecedented excitement, with people camping outside Apple stores for days. The first iPhone featured a 3.5-inch display, 4GB or 8GB of storage, and introduced the world to multi-touch interface technology that would become the standard for smartphones. The evolution from iPhone 1 to iPhone 15. The iPhone's evolution represents one of technology's most impressive journeys. The iPhone 3G in 2008 brought faster internet and the revolutionary App Store, creating an entire economy around mobile applications. The iPhone 3GS followed in 2009 with improved performance and video recording capabilities. The iPhone 4 in 2010 introduced the stunning Retina display and FaceTime, setting new standards for screen quality and video calling. The iPhone 4S brought Siri, Apple's voice assistant that pioneered AI integration in smartphones. The iPhone 5 in 2012 featured a larger 4-inch screen and lightning connector while the iPhone 5C and 5S in 2013 offered colorful plastic options and Touch ID fingerprint security. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus in 2014 finally embraced larger screens, responding to market demand for bigger displays. The iPhone 6S series introduced 3D touch pressure-sensitive screens. The iPhone 7 controversially removed the headphone jack, pushing wireless audio adoption. The iPhone 8 and revolutionary iPhone X in 2017 brought wireless charging and Face ID facial recognition. The iPhone XS, XR, and later models continued refining these technologies. The iPhone 12 series introduced 5G connectivity and MagSafe magnetic charging. The iPhone 13 improved cameras and battery life significantly. The iPhone 14 added satellite emergency features and dynamic island. The current iPhone 15 series features USB-C connectivity, titanium construction in Pro models, and advanced computational photography powered by the S17 Pro chip. iPhone pricing. Then and now, the original iPhone launched at $499 for the 4GB model and $599 per 8GB, which was considered expensive for 2007. However, these prices required a two-year at and contract. Without subsidies, the true cost was much higher. Apple quickly dropped the 4GB model and reduced the 8GB price to $399 after just two months due to customer backlash. Today's iPhone pricing tells a different story. The iPhone 15 starts at $799, while the iPhone 15 Pro Max reaches $1,199 for base storage. Premium configurations can exceed $1,000. $599. Several factors explain this price evolution. Modern iPhones contain incredibly sophisticated technology, advanced cameras with computational photography, powerful processors rivaling laptops, premium materials like titanium and ceramic shield glass, and complex manufacturing processes for components like Face ID sensors. Research and development costs have skyrocketed as Apple pushes technological boundaries. The company invests billions annually in chip design, camera technology, and software development. Additionally, Apple has positioned itself as a premium brand, with customers willing to pay higher prices for perceived quality and status. The lack of carrier subsidies that once masked true costs also makes prices more transparent to consumers. Development of key accessories Apple's ecosystem strategy has always been about more than selling individual devices. It's about creating a tightly woven network where each product enhances the value of the others. 
Beyond the iPhone, Apple has built a suite of hardware and software experiences that lock users into an interconnected digital lifestyle. The launch of the AirPods in 2016 perfectly illustrates this approach. Initially met with skepticism after Apple's controversial decision to remove the iPhone's headphone jack, AirPods quickly redefined the wireless audio market. Packed with Apple's custom V1 chip, they offered seamless one-tap pairing and automatic switching between Apple devices, features that competing products struggled to match. Built-in accelerometers and optical sensors enabled smart functions like autoplay-slash-pause, while the compact charging case provided hours of battery life in an ultra-portable design. Later iterations expanded the lineup. AirPods Pro introduced active noise cancellation and customizable fit, while AirPods Max offered premium over-ear audio with spatial sound and high-fidelity playback. Together, these products helped make Apple one of the largest audio companies in the world, despite not existing in the headphone market less than a decade ago. The Apple Watch, launched in 2015, was another ecosystem-defining product. Though it began as a mix of fashion accessory and fitness tracker, the watch has evolved into a comprehensive health and wellness device. It can monitor heart rhythms for signs of atrial fibrillation, measure blood oxygen saturation, track sleep, and even detect falls or accidents, alerting emergency services when needed. Its deep integration with the iPhone means notifications, calls, and apps flow effortlessly between wrist and phone, making it indispensable for many users. Today, the Apple Watch dominates the smartwatch market, effectively shaping it into a health-first category that competitors continue to chase. Apple's MacBook line also demonstrates the power of this ecosystem. Features like Handoff let users begin writing an email on iPhone and finish it instantly on MacBook while Universal Clipboard allows text, images, and files to be copied on one device and pasted on another without friction. AirDrop makes fast, wireless file transfers between iPhone, iPad, and Mac effortless. The introduction of Apple Silicon, M1, M2, and beyond brought integration to an entirely new level. MacBooks now run iPhone and iPad apps natively, blurring the lines between mobile and desktop computing. Performance efficiency, long battery life, and custom chip design reinforce Apple's strategy of controlling both hardware and software for maximum synergy. Together, these products demonstrate that Apple's real strength lies not in isolated devices, but in how they work together as a unified ecosystem. Each new product, whether it's AirPods, Apple Watch, or MacBook, not only succeeds on its own merits, but also makes every other Apple device more valuable. This interconnected design creates a powerful incentive for customers to stay within Apple's world, ensuring long-term loyalty and continued dominance in multiple industries at once. From touchscreens to Face ID, the journey of the iPhone proves that technology never stops evolving. Which iPhone model was your favorite? Or the one that changed your life the most? Drop your answer in the comments, I'd love to know. If you enjoyed this tech countdown, hit like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who loves Apple history. Until next time, stay curious, stay connected, and never stop exploring the stories behind the screen.